Today we will be talking about the um, mode dial, which makes this episode perhaps one of the most important one in this series. You see, the mode dial is what brings many functions to life on your Sony A6300. If you understand what each option does, that's halfway to becoming a good photographer. The other half lies with lenses and your ability to use them in the right situation. Without any further ado, let's get to it. The first option on the Sony A6300, which is kind of like the default option when you buy the camera, is the auto option. Um, the user manual states for this option allows you to shoot still images of any subject under any condition with good results by setting the values determined appropriate by the product. They mean the Sony A6300. As you're about to see, the mode dial allows you to set the values of many variables the camera uses to shoot better. This option senses everything about the scene and makes the selection for you according to what the camera has detected. Really, so the rest of the options on the mode dial is for you to make adjustments if you're not happy with the auto settings. And to be honest, this is the whole point of this video. If this camera was perfectly fine for every setting in every situation with its auto mode, then I don't think we would need the rest of the dial, correct? All right, so that's the first one. Let's uh, check out the next one. The following option, Program Auto. According to the user menu, allows you to shoot with the exposure adjusted automatically, both the shutter speed and the aperture value. That's the F value. Also, you can select various settings using the menu. This option, I would like to skip for now and come back to it. I feel this option will be self-explanatory once I explain the other modes that would follow it. Aperture priority. Per the user manual states, allows you to adjust the aperture and shoot when you want to blur the background, etc. What does that mean? Together with ISO and shutter speed, aperture make up the trinity of photography. All three cover exposure. You will notice that the mode dial has the aperture, shutter priority, which sets the shutter speed, and manual exposure all night next to each other. That's because they represent the aperture, shutter speed, and ISO, the three pillars I mentioned. Aperture importance is stemmed from the fact that aperture controls how light will hit the image surface, giving it different dimensions. You can achieve blurred background image by adjusting the aperture value. I give an example of two pictures I shot with the max and minimum aperture available on the kit lens that came with the, with, the, with the Sony A6300. As you can see in this example, I shot off the characters of the movie Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. The first photo I shot with the max aperture set to 3.5. The focus is on the figures while the background is totally blurred out. While the second image was taken with the minimum aperture of 22, puts the whole image in focus so there is no focus area and all aspects of the photo is clear. Aperture is, you, is measured in F numbers. For example, th uh, 3.5 is written as F forward 3.5 and also represents the maximum aperture on the kit lens that came with the Sony A6300. So remember, this is a little backward. The smaller number is the maximum, while the larger number is the minimum. The minimum aperture for the same lens is 22. If you are familiar with the anatomy of an eye, the aperture is the equivalent of the pupil of the eye, which is the opening in the iris that adjusts its size according to the amount of light falling on it. Since our bodies are programmed to adjust the size of our pupils automatically, you have to manually adjust the aperture size to achieve a certain look if the automatic setting does not achieve it for you. Next up is shutter priority. Per the user manual, it defines shutter priority as allows you to shoot fast moving subjects, etc. by manually adjusting the shutter speed. This is just a fancy way of saying shutter speed adjustment. So what is a shutter speed? 
as you can see, even the manual is treating the user as if they are, they are photography experts, so they are just telling you what to use the mode for. Understanding how the mode works and what it does will help you take better photos. To understand shutter priority, let's explain what a shutter, what's a, what a shutter role is in a camera. Picture a shutter as a window facing the camera sensor. The amount of time that the window or shutter is open determines the amount of light the sensor will be exposed to and in turn creating the image. When you are shooting a subject with plenty of light, you would be f using a fast shutter because you want to open and close the window or shutter quickly. On the other hand, if you're shooting in low light conditions, you would want a slow shutter to allow more light in since there isn't much on the subject to start with. When, uh, when the A6300 is in that shutter priority mode, it allows you to adjust the shutter speed while the camera takes care of the aperture priority. Shutter speed is measured in fractions of a second. An example would be 1 over 250 or 1 250th of a second, just like in my example playing as you could see right now. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your coming through all to this point. In this episode, we've gone over aperture as well as shutter speed. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And the next episode, we'll be discussing the rest of the dial mode. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hit that uh, ring button so that you could get notified when the new episodes are being uploaded. Again, I don't know how much I appreciate all your comments, all your feedbacks. It's been really great journey so far working on this YouTube channel, and I'm really enjoying every moment of it. Take care, and we'll see you in the next episode.